first thing to do is make sure the clamp group stroke is correctly. The mean dimension is 10.5, so you have a tolerance of 10.4 or 10.7. This one is set at 10.49. In That's the open position. In the open position. This is the first step. Then you go to make sure that the sensor clamping position is set correctly. Okay, we're going to have a two and a half millimeter and a three millimeter Allen wrench, and we're going to have a multimeter to check the sensors. Okay, now we have to remove the sensor cover, four bolts. Take the cover off. The sensors are located in here. They'll need to reference the manual showing the pin locations for the power, for the ground, and for the signal in order to check out each one of the functions of the spindle. Okay, here's the positions of the sensor. This is sensor S4. S2. And this side is S1. And the bottom one, S3. Alright, to confirm that tool lock is working correctly, sensors S4 and S1 need to be set properly. S4 will be the one that you set first. S4 is this sensor on top, right here is S4. So you'll have your meter set up to check S4. Then you'll go ahead and place a tool holder in the tool clamping. As you see, S4 gives you the green light. When you release, the tool in S4, you get the red light. S4 has to be set before S1 is set. When checking S1, after you confirmed S4 is correct, you place the tool in the clamping position, lock the tool down, S1 will be green. Notice that when you release S1, there's no red light. That's only on S4. S1 will only have the green light. Now we're going to show clamp open, which will be S2 sensor, which is down here on the bottom, right here, is actually S2 sensor. When you actuate the spindle clamp open, clamp is open, sensor is on. Clamp closed, sensor off. Clamp open, sensor on. Now we're going to show S3. S3 is the bottom sensor on this side here. Hook the meter up to S3 connections and when you do is rotate the shaft. As you rotate the shaft, you'll get a pulse. You'll see the green light pulsing. That shows you that the S3 is reading correctly. Currently, right now, we're going to show S1, tool lock position. 
We're going to take a tool, open up the clamp system, put a tool in, close it. As we see, we're making connection. Tool lock is working. Open it. Goes off. If you have to adjust it and it's not set correctly, go to S4 and adjust. You have to go to S4 and adjust it first. So this would be one that you would use the three millimeter Allen wrench to adjust S4 first and then get that to function and then go back to S1 and reset it. You would loosen it, then you would rotate the sensor to get the meter to come on and then you would lock it down.